When you hear decarbonization, what do you think about? Do you think about forests, oceans, maybe the renewable resources that are powering our society? Maybe you're thinking about industrial streams of carbon emissions that we can utilize. But there's probably something that you haven't been thinking about to date as the next great resource, and that's plastic waste. 6.3 billion metric tons of it accessible on the surface of this planet and landfills for us to use, with 300 million metric tons of it being added every year. The issue with plastic is that only 9% of what's produced actually is recyclable. So what can we do with the rest of it? I believe that plastic waste has a huge potential to be used as a circular carbon source during the climate age to make, phys to make physical goods. And when we look here at how to start on tackling this problem, the most abundant plastic out there is polyethylene. And you know it as the everyday junk that is useful for a few minutes, and then you throw it away, like packaging or trash bags. The issue about polyethylene is that it's really hard to recycle after it's thrown away as waste. And so the plastic industry's circular solution has been to pyrolyze it into oil through energy-intensive processes, feed it back into steam crackers, and then make new plastics that actually have a higher carbon footprint and higher costs than even the petro-based plastics that we have today. So it's far from a perfect solution. My name is Miranda Wang, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Novaloop. We've developed the only technology to transform polyethylene plastic into high-performance materials without needing high-intensive, uh, energy-intensive processes. And we do this at a significant carbon emission reduction compared to even the best practices in the industry today. Over the past two years, we've developed uh, we've, we've made remarkable strides in developing our first product. And this is a chemically upcycled thermoplastic polyurethane, or TPU. I'm thrilled to be here to share some of the highlights from our development journey. Back in March 2020, Novaloop was a seed stage startup, and we had half of the solution. We were able to chemically oxidize polyethylene into small molecular building blocks. Um, but we didn't know what to do with it or how to make useful materials out of it. What we wanted to do was to, to make a material that was able to have a higher performance and higher value than the plastics we started with. But when we try to make a thermal set, we'd accidentally foam it into a muffin. <laughs> when we wanted to make a thermal plastic, we'd end up with a few grams of a sticky goo. So it was very challenging. Um, I mean, we're using the molecules from trash. But this is where we started. And we learned by testing our materials, iterating our formulations, and doing this over and over and over again. Around six months into the development, that was the first time we started getting some attention on what we were doing. We made a video showcasing side by side um, our material, our TPU, and the plastic trash bag that it was upcycled from. And you can see that the trash bag, at the end of its life, is a spit material it really struggles. It broke really quickly under some lightweights. But the TPU, after it's chemically upcycled and the molecules are made into this brand new material, is significantly stronger. And a video like this shows what chemical upcycling can do. It can turn crappy material into high performing brand new materials that make durable goods. And this is a major breakthrough for the plastic circularity space and something that no one has been able to achieve before. So with this success, we started looking into what are the other properties that really matter for, for customers in the TPU space. And TPU as an elastomer has to be elastic. So we started optimizing on this attribute. Novaloop's TPU is able to achieve more than 1,000% as elongation, which means 1,000%, 10 times as length without breaking. It's an extremely strong material and something that is even better than some of the fossil-based virgin TPUs that are available in the market today. So when we started seeing some of these early successes in the mechanical properties, we decided to target applications in the footwear space. And just like the tread of a tire, your shoe, especially the bottom of it, wears away as you wear it every day. TPU as a material category is extremely abrasion resistant. It wears away two to three times slower than rubber. 
So when you use it, you're able to make either a shoe that lasts much longer or a shoe that's much lighter because you can use less of the material. And that makes a difference on the sustainability. Our TPU in abrasion resistance, uh, we were tested not only in the labs, but also in uh, actual on-foot testing with athletes in real life. And to give you an idea of how rigorous some of the testing was, um, this, this actually shows you two shoe soles um, after one month of, of wear testing. With the left one, the control, it's a little hard to see in the lighting, but the one on the left is actually made from commercial rubbers. Um, and you can see after a month of wearing, it actually cracked. Whereas the one on the right, the Novaloop TPU, it got worn down, but it was able to withstand the test. So aesthetically, aesthetically, TPU that's chemically upcycled is also much better uh, than mechanically recycled plastics. Our plastics are clean. You're able to color them very nicely and easily, as opposed to mechanically recycled plastics, which are usually gray or brown, and it's, you can't really make a lot of colors that you would want as a product designer. So this is another benefit of chemical upcycling. You can purify at the molecular level and achieve these, uh, these features. Beyond being easy on the eyes, Novaloop's TPU is also easy on the environment. A third-party life cycle assessment that we perform with Sphera, which is a leading sustainability firm, shows that our TPU has a significantly lower carbon footprint compared to the virgin TPUs that exist today um, and make up 99% of the TPU market. So we're about to publish these results soon, and stay tuned. Um, we're very excited to be sharing them. Another impressive figure that uh, I want to share is uh, what we have decided to do in bring the TPU into the footwear space is partnering with, uh, with Swiss athletic brand On. And over the past two years, a major achievement was we were able to collaborate in making the outsole for the Cloud Prime shoe, which was recently announced in September. So everyone, I'm introducing the world's first chemically upcycled TPU for the first time in action. This material uh, on the bottom of the shoe is Novaloop's TPU, and it was made with consuming 15 plastic trash bags um, into an extremely high-performing material. So I'd like to close with a, a bold prediction. In a few years, we're not just going to be talking about reimagining plastic trash on our feet. It's going to be in our jackets, our cars, our homes, our electronic devices. Chemically upcycled plastics will become the standard for performance goods. And this shoe is just a small step on that journey to getting to circularity. This is just the beginning. Thank you. Thank you. At Novo, uh, yes, we've been on a mission to transform this waste into performance products. We've invented a groundbreaking new process that upcycles plastic by altering its chemical state, cutting its carbon chain, and reimagining it as new products. We're doing this now, and we're just getting started. Novo Loop. What's possible is about to change.